Hello traders, so the title of the video is uh, Alio Wave. A trader begins to analyze a crude oil with a big smile in the face. Yes, this is a crude oil. And a trader have been asking me for years, but saying to me, George, please analyze crude oil, please analyze crude oil. And I said, no, 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 I don't want to analyze crude oil. Now we are about to begin to analyze a crude oil. And you need to remind traders that this is um, US crude oil, or right, US crude oil, that we are analyzing is now at $42.53, all right? So for those of you that have been very patient with me, we're talking about earlier way, uh, analyzing uh, the crude oil using the Ilya way. Now I have the data for crude oil, and uh, we're going to begin uh, to analyze crude oil. All right? It's going to be very interesting. So using a reference point, so traders that are very new to I know that we talk about reference point. So as an Ilya way trader, you must use reference point. 2003, what is coming to your mind? And do you remember? Commodity, all right, boom, commodity was trending up, and uh, this is it, crude oil also was going up. But the chart that I'm looking at now, I don't know whether I'm missing enough data or not, because uh, 2003, all right, you see here? So I'm missing a bit of data here. So probably, I'm choosing my work carefully, there was a trend, but this does not look like a trend if we are considering uh, the price uh, from here to here, all right? It's a one, two, three, all right? What's going on here? A, B, C, D, chart pattern, trending fast, all right? Call it a trend. Is it a trend? Am I missing some data here? Because uh, one of the problems that uh, any of traders are facing is that sometimes we have, uh, we do not have enough data. So we are working with what we got in that scenario, or you need to be a little bit of a, put a question mark on it. That's what we hear. See the question mark. Is it big enough? Let's make put it a very big question mark. Do I have enough data? You need to do that, okay? Right. Is that all the information that we have here? Because if you are working with uh, limited data, uh, it's not a good start, but we can only work with what we got. In that case, we must be a little bit cautious if we are not very sure that we have all the data. It's nice to have all the data. Why are you limiting the data? It costs, okay, the, plat the trading platform provided a lot of money to provide all the data. So they try to reduce their cost by providing us some time with what they got. But personally, or it will be better to have from the beginning to the end the whole data so we can know where are we now talking about the bigger cycle, the mini cycle, right? so we can go into it. I'm not afraid to analyze the chart. I just need all the data. Right? So that's all I got. So we work with this? Okay. So suppose, I'm choosing my word very careful. Suppose we are calling this, okay, a training page, okay? <laughs> You see the question back there. So what we call this like trending pen. So after the trending first, so at the beginning of the the, the the commodity boom, 2008, another reference point, we have what? Financial crashes. Right? Could all continue to go up before coming down. So we will say from 2008 to 2009, okay, Cold oil went up for the first uh, during the second half of, uh, I mean, uh, in fact, the first half of 2008, and then from there it start coming down. So this move now, this is what we call E. Well, let's say E. Though that's a, it's in fact this is a zigzag pattern. So this is a zigzag pattern. If you see clearly, it's a very gorgeous. It's a quite impulsive way. A zigzag pattern. Not very clean, <laughs> not very beautiful, but understand it's a zigzag pattern. Here it is. Here, 
zigzag a b c all right so it's a zigzag pattern all right so some trader may say george is not a zigzag pattern it's w s y way so we all agree it's a correct way whether you are calling it a zigzag pattern or w x y way which means w so you call this one probably w for me the zigzag and then probably you call this one x that's what i would say x so after the zigzag pattern one two three one two three all right and then people think that, oh, I could oil 2016 should begin a new trend. They start going up. Now, that trend, in fact, that everybody was expecting has failed. How do we call that? X. So, after the X wave, if the common sector is broken for the X wave, it means that we will expect another correction. This was happening here. So, people will say, cold oil is coming down again. This cold oil is going to be down again. As an earlier way trader, you should understand that, okay, yeah, 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 it's normal. Now the trailer is broken. After the X wave, we should have another move down. It's a correction. What kind of correction is going to be? Is it going to be a flat correction? Is it going to be A, B, C, D, E? Is it going to be another zigzag? We all know, all we know is that it's going to be a correction. And this looks to me that this moon that is coming down now is a correcting one this x wave which is a trending side that has failed. so today so here we say first wave second wave now we are in a third wave here it is it has fell so when a trend has started doesn't mean that the trend will continue by all means the trend can fail and when the trend has fell we call it x when today we're here also they will say oh correction up to the 78.6 percent fibonacci replacement of the move from here to here oh this is a new trend so some today may say this is x you say george this is X. Maybe. So trade any way trade is agreement. So this is correction, sharp correction, followed by X. Oh, Joe, can you see that? This is a triangle. So the X was followed by correction. Oh wow. And then another correction. I don't want to call this one X. I prefer to call I prefer to call it. W and this is X and this is another correction taking place here. So in fact our zigzag pattern, what I'm calling zigzag, okay, move down, sharp move down, but impulse wave. We call it zigzag. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then you see here one, two, three. Then again, look, we have a triangle. <laughs> You see that? This is very interesting. That's why I say to trade, never say never. So the area way theory, okay, it's an observation that a gentleman has made, all right? And uh, looking at the market behaviors, he has created, okay, uh, he has developed the area way theory. The same thing, for instance, uh, where we are writing uh, trading system, we cannot talk about everything. So the gentleman that was writing the area way theory cannot talk about everything. They may, he may discount some of the things that he has observed. He will give priority to some of them. So sometimes area weight traders uh, are using the area weight theory like a size and they come across situation and they don't know how to deal with it. Just understand that in the financial market, anything is possible. Sometimes things that uh, no one ever talk about can still happen. So here it is, you may say, all right, zigzag pattern, impulse wave, and now you can say one, two, three, A, B, C, and now you're expecting your, now you see here, this is the A, B, C. So, so we say impulse wave, one, two, three, four, five, okay, one, two, three, and then we say again, one, okay, so see, let me say, this is the one, this is the two, three, four, five. Is that correct? Maybe, sometimes let me say that. So we say, this one, two, three, four, five is hidden. This one, two, three is clean. Now we are expecting another one, two, three, four, five. That's the, in, those are the internal wave of the zigzag pattern. If you do not, if you are not sure, go to www.24idiotwave.com and click on the zigzag pattern. So they say they are expecting one, two, three, four, five. You can say, say one. Now you see here, it becomes a triangle. One, two, three, blah, blah, blah. A, B, C, D, E. All right, so they say, all right, one. So, oh, blah, 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 that blah, 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 is correcting that one. So, they say one, 
blah, 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 two, three, four, five. Now, all I can tell you now, this move down, that's the first part of the zigzag pattern, one, two, three. And then we have a triangle before the prime is crashing down. Now, again, here, it did not form one, two, three, four, five, move down. But if for one, two, three, it's all the all. The key point that we want to understand is that it's a correction. So, what is the correction? I mean, the number that is representing the correction is the three. One, two, three. So, if you ask the child what the price has done, how many moves was it? The child will tell you, it went down, and then it went up, and then it went down. That's one, two, three. Isn't it? It's a correction. So, that's why I prefer to call this one a W. And then you say, all right, new trend has begun. In your way, calm. It's one step at a time. It's no more trend. They start thinking, oh, George, it looks like me. Uh, we're going to have a trend. This is no more. No more. It's no more reaction to respect a trend after that. Now, the phone is the fundamental support in the trend. Market environment support in the trend. Blah, 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 blah. All right? Do daily verification. It's not sufficient to just see that, oh, a quality way has ended, therefore I must buy, and definitely there will be a trend. What is going to create a trend? Fundamentals, market sentiment, all right? Market environment. Those are the things that will support the trend. Now the trend has fell, how do we label it? We call it X, all right? So now, after the X, if the trailer is broken for the X, what do we expect? Another correction. It can be any type of correction. A zigzag can be a zigzag. This one, see here, it can come down, shoo, 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 shoo. Then go one, two, three, up, or just one move like this, and then one, two, three, four, five, down. Or shoo, 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 down, rally up to retest the trailer, and then shoo, shoo, down. For me, another double bottom. Here, will you do that? That's a possibility. But it's not a certainty, okay? Or the price can just go sh -sh 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 all the way here. I mean, a double bottom chart pattern. Or it may turn around. Well, it's not because there's a support. It may just turn around there. But at the end of the day, we know that this move is X, and this move that is happening now is a correction. It can be a triangle, a zigzag, a flat correction, any type of in your way. Correction, you see now. So all in all, this is the first time that I'm talking about cold oil, and now we have a big smile in my face. <laughs> no, no, because uh, the reason why uh, I'm smiling is because uh, trader did ask me too long. I think those traders will be jumping and say, "I can't believe it that George is finally talking about cold oil." And they are very happy, and I'm happy for them too. All right? So a zigzag is completing after a question mark trend. All right? Now we have the S. We are expecting another correction. This is what's happening now. You see? So people are talking about blah, blah, blah. So how do we handle that? So we are expecting a correction that is taking place now, which is no more. You see, even in fact, you look at it. What, what, look at the moving of the hundred. How it did a very good job. It was declining. The moving of the hundred was declining. So what did I say? Bearish trend will take place below a declining moving of the hundred. Bullish trend will take place above a rising moving of the hundred. And it was declining, declining. Trend went up, for the resistance, pushed down. Am I talking too much? Okay, good. All right. So you see now. So how do we handle this now? What, what, what kind of prediction can we so, all right. so the price is going down now. So we're talking about market principle. If the price is going down, the price is looking for what? A better support level. Just throw it. So if you are trading crude oil, there is a support. Okay. At 43. Uh, now, in fact, we, we break below that support level now. Can you see now? This is what we are saying. Price is going down. The price is looking for a better support level. So we have done our earlier way analysis. There was a trend, there was a zigzag, there was an X. We are expecting a correction now. So price now, that correction is taking place, but the price is looking for a better support level. There's another support level here in that zone. You see, for the support at $32.97. It break below that. If you find a resistance below 
the 43.98, call it 44. The next support level is 32.97. So some of you are trading the, the UK crude oil. This is the US crude oil. All right. This is the US crude oil. Though I live in London, I'm trading like American trader. Am I speaking with American accent? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. am I speaking with my Texas accent? <laughs> so they say, Joe, you are speaking with your frog accent. Okay. So this is what's going on. Is it going to break below and convert into a resistance, come back down? Or is it going to grow around all the way here? Or is it going to find a support there? That candlestick kind of bar because of the monthly chart will be closed on the 31st of December 2018. I'm recording this video on Christmas Day. Can you believe that? Happy Christmas to you all. <laughs> all right. You see that? So, wait for it to close in January 2019. The first month of the year is quite challenging for <laughs> trading. The market will readjust itself like the first wave of January to the mid-February. Traders always ignore that and they get cooked. They lose all their money from January to the 15th of January, 15th of February before the year even starts. Is it going to form a double bottom here before going up or is it going to come all the way here? Right. Now, if he goes below this low here at 32.97, which I doubt it, one can apply Fibonacci extension of the move from here. I'm not going to do it because I don't have room for it, but I'll tell you now. If he break below this low, apply Fibonacci extension for the move from here to here. Fibonacci extension for that down move, a high light, which level? The 138.2%. Fibonacci extension level. That will be the next support level after the $32.97. Okay, apart from, uh, okay, now the price going down, you can form any earlier wave, uh, okay, structure, but in order to handle that, just throw the key level, okay, that's what we see. So we have done it, we've seen it now, what has happened, there was a trend, there was a zigzag, pattern, there was a nice, and now we are having a correction. So it's all clear. Everybody can understand that. Okay, so now you want to make sure you make the right decision. Now, attention to what? The price action. There's a trend line there that you cannot ignore. Draw it. You see how? You see how? Connecting this point. Can, can you see that? How the price did connecting this point? At this point, we draw that line. That bearish trend line. Can you believe that? I'm, I, 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 love, I love what I see here. Beautiful. Now, look, the price test the same pink trend line. Look again, recently. Are you trading cool oil? Did you draw that trend line? You see now? So you've done your area wave analysis. Now attention to the price. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, what this is telling me is telling me that professionals are trading this uh, crude oil clean cut. Just look at that, how they sell it on the dot. Now, this is a very interesting scenario. You see here, one, two, three, and then pull back, and then price went up. So we can say one, two, three, minimum price one is free. Retesting a bearish trend line. Common set is broken, and now look at the movement hundred decline. Try to bear a signal below the peak line. Isn't it what we will say to traders? Am I speaking with uh, my American accent? So you break below the common set line. You see that? It break that you did trailer that we draw very close break below and retest it on the dot. It starts selling it. That's what's happening now. <laughs> so, very good, very good, very interesting. If you, uh, 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 there's a high chance this may form a double bottom, partial pattern here. There's a high chance. Now, we could, then we say one, two, three, and then pull, 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 pull down. Then we see whether it's going to break it finally. So, as long as those water really grow, as long as crude oil stay below that pink trend line, it's bearish. So, any rally. Uh, can fail, okay, if it doesn't go above the pink line. That's what we see to trade. But do not forget those. Of so you see now, that we have done it now, okay, very simple. So after the early up way, what do you do? So the latest now, you may want to say, Joe, where is he going? 
which should we use? Use pitch for true. You see that? A pitch for two will determine the possible path that the prayer will take. I'm choosing uh, carefully here three points. Are we still friends? Okay, some traders were upset with me. Okay, don't get upset for too long. Or after you've been upset with me for a while, cool it, okay? Some traders say, don't. When I see you next time, there's a 24 lashes in public place. All right. So now you, you use the three points in one, two, or three, all right? Now you draw your piece for two. So you see now, after the year wave, now I tell you to the price. So, so all you need down, as we talk about $43.98, we talk about $32.97. Watch out also, all right, that media line of the peak for two. Again, as I say to traders at dayportrade.com, do not forget to draw the media line of the upper half of that declining. Am I doing properly here? You see, that the media line of that. Uh, it's not easy to draw it here like this. I don't think it's accurate that line that I'm drawing now. So try to do try something like that and leave it there. So why you are doing now? Because you want to make decisions, especially in the correction. The correction, the price is going down. It's looking for a better support level. First support level is taking out 3298. Is it going to go back above? Is it going to convert? Is it going to convert into resistance? You just you are not alone. Other traders are looking at it. They are thinking the same thing. They are expecting the same thing. They are patient. They are watching. It may run fast. Go back to thirty two ninety seven. It goes below that level. Coming down. Watch the media line of the pitch for twenty. Break below that media line. Okay, we can draw again another media line of the second half of that pitch for two. It's not easy to draw it now. So I'm just putting a line there. All right. So nothing should stop you as an early way trader to determine the possible path that the price is likely to take using what? Pitchfork 2. I can draw another gigantic pitchfork 2 like this. So that will be the first point. Second point. Second point here. And third point here. And then again, I can divide this half into two. I, will, I don't have to let me say those. I don't like that. I'll prefer instead this one. See, one, two, three. But right now, the price is not here. So that piece for two is not useful to us. So therefore, we may decide to use instead this one for now. And then we can divide this half into two. All right? And we can keep doing that. Oh, what have I moved? Because it is our chart. It is our chart. And there is one more pitch for two that we can place on our chart. You remember when I was showing the chart for indices? All right? I draw many pitch for two that I leave on my chart. That's what I want you to do. There is one that you can draw it. Don't forget. It. Just leave it on your chart. And anybody say to you, why your chart it looks dirty? You say yes. That's exactly what George has said, and I'm doing exactly the same thing because it's my own chart. You see here. So first point, you see. First point here. Second point. Third point. And leave it there on your chart. Is there something that you can do? All right. So some trader may say, "All right, there is a target. Yes, there is a target." The price does not go down for no reason. You see here, there was this triangle here. You break below it so that we use that measure stick. There. They projected there, yes or no? That's the first target of that triangle. Did you see? Did you see what's happening here? Are you, are you with me? Are you finding this very interesting? Primary? You see, that's the first target, first ultimate target. There was a midpoint target. Anytime you have a target, you have a midpoint target. There was a midpoint target somewhere there. Right. So there was the ultimate target. Price came, you see, he break below that target. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? He break below it and retest it. And they sold it down. All right, where are we now? That's a very important trading question. So, 
The next target, we're moving that same target down. It's now somewhere down there. You can see now on my monthly chart. Let's go to the yearly chart. Maybe you will see there. Oh, yes, we can see it. Somewhere there at $24. Roughly, roughly, roughly. So there's another target there. And again, there is a midpoint target. Uh, let, let me do it properly, okay? I'm using Fibonacci retracement and the 50%. Bon, we'll call it this red line. I don't want to draw another line below. It's a little bit below that red line. So that's where the price now. The price now at that midpoint target of the second ultimate target level. So that's where the price now. So remember that the price, though it's below the 43398, there is a midpoint target for the second projection of that triangle on the monthly chart. So this is what you need to do. And you are looking for trading setup, and then you implement a top down trade method. You want to be very patient, but not a, sometimes you may miss opportunity by being patient, but it doesn't matter. You want to see it clean. Okay, we are now almost at the end of the year. In six days time, the market will be closed. So this one, you just put it somewhere and wait for the new year to begin. But remember, January to the 15th of February can be quite challenging. But all in all, finally, all right, any your way trader begins to analyze all right, crude oil with a big smile in his face. I like to analyze crude oil and I'm enjoying what I'm doing here. I hope you are doing, you are enjoying it too. So, was it a trend? I believe so. There was a trend. Let me have a zigzag pattern, all right. For me, the W, this is a next wave that has fell, a trend in fact that has fell. 2016, people were talking, Cold War is going to go out forever, but the Federal Reserve has stopped the quantitative easing and start putting up interest rate. How that is possible? Because what was happening before, money was coming out of the stock market, going to commodity, or money coming out of stock commodity, going to the stock market, vice versa, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Now you want to understand the policies that are in place now. So here we are. We have a, a zigzag pattern, internal way, one, two, three, four, five. Now here it's not very clean. It just went, shh, see, John, what are you going to do about that? Okay, at 78.6%, you want to trace my level of that support to be a trend in fashion. And it went up, okay, you see the triangle there. People are using a target, okay, we're talking about it already. We are now midpoint target of the secondary ultimate target at $24 at 12. So if crude oil start rolling it down, it reaches that level $24. 12, remember that level, note it down. Know that it's a target level. It's almost at the at the tail of uh, you see the tail of those tendency back here. Okay, so $43.98. We are now at midpoint target of the secondary ultimate target. Next target level, $32.97. Ultimate uh, secondary target, $24.12. Will he find a support at 43.98 and turn around here? Draw the peak for crew, draw the key level after the area wave analysis. For 2003, all right, to 2008, crude oil was trending. If we do not miss uh, some data here, all right. And then there was a zigzag pattern, a corrective phase from 2008 to 2016. At the beginning of 2016, people were expecting a new trend for the crude oil. That trend has failed for me the S wave. After the S wave, there will be another correction. We are now seeing that correction that is taking place. This is the story of the cold oil in your wave analysis. If you have any question or suggestion, please put in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. If it is a social tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today. Our channel is 24 in your ways. Feel free to follow us also on Facebook, stochastic-magd.com, stochastic-magd Facebook page. All right, because sometimes post the video first on Facebook, sometimes first on YouTube. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW, a 24 traders. 
Thank you for watching. And I will speak to you soon.